Assalamu alaikum and good day everyone. This video will cover the last topic, topic 6 of system analysis and design course, which related to system implementation. Topic 6 is divided into four parts and this video will cover the first part, which is introduction to system implementation. The objectives of topic six is to describe the process of coding, testing, and converting an organizational information system and outline the deliverables and outcome of the process. The second objective is to apply four installation strategies direct parallel single location and phased installation to information system. The third objective is to list the deliverables for documenting the system and for training and supporting users. The fifth objective is to explain why system implementation sometimes fail. And the last objective is to describe the threat to system security and remedies that can be applied. The major topics related to system implementation, as you can see in this slide, are six topics. In system implementation, we will go through introduction to system implementation, a process which will be covered in this video. The second topic related to system construction, coding and testing, we will go through the definition of system construction coding, and we will go through the various type of system testing and when to use each type of testing. The third topic, installation, we will go through the various type of system installation and we will have knowledge regarding when to use each installation strategy. Then we will also have knowledge regarding the considerations when planning the installation. In the fourth topic, documenting the system, we will go through generic guidelines for documentation and the various kinds of documentation. The fifth topic, which is training and support, we will go through various types of training methods and also the approaches of supporting user. Finally, in the organizational issues, we will go through factors affecting the use of the system and we will go through security issues and finally project closure. First, we'll start with introduction to system implementation process. The system implementation is the process of ensuring that information system is operational and then allowing user to take over its operation for use and evaluation. This slide shows the location of the implementation phase in the system development life cycle. As you can see that the implementation phase is after the design phase and before the maintenance phase. And also this slide shows that the implementation stage consists of six major activities, coding, testing, installation, documentation, training, and support. And these activities will be presented in details in this topic. There are three purposes for system implementation. Number one, to convert final physical system specification into working and reliable software. The second purpose is to document work that has been done. And the third purpose is to provide help for current and future users. This slide summarizes the major activities related to system implementation, which are coding, testing, installation, documentation, training, and support. More information regarding these activities will be presented in the other videos of topic six. For example, 
in the coding activity, the physical design specification are turned into working computer code. Regarding the testing activity, it's important to know that there are various testing strategy or testing methods to be used in order to test the system and it's also important to know that testing is performed in parallel with coding and not after the coding. In the installation activity, the current system is replaced by new system and we will go through various installation strategies. Regarding the documentation, it's important to know that there are two kinds of documentation system documentation and user documentation. System documentation, which are instructions that will, will be given to information system personnel who will maintain the system throughout its productive life, such as developer or programmer, while user testing, which are instructions to be given to people who use the system as part of their daily life. Regarding the training activity, it's important to know that it's application specific and general for operating system and off the shelf software. And there are various training methods. We will go through it in the coming videos. And finally, related to the support activity, it's important to know that there are two approaches. It can be either automating support or help support. This slide summarizes the system implementation deliverables in two tables. The first table, table 13.1, lists the deliverables from the first three activities, coding, testing, installation, while table 13.2 lists the deliverables from the other activities, which are documenting the system, training, and supporting user. For example, the deliverables from coding will be code and program documentation, while the deliverables from documentation will be two kinds of documentation, system documentation and user documentation. So this is the end of part one of topic six. Thank you very much for listening.